Welcome to Kitty Place The Elder Scrolls 3 Morrowind. I am Nighty, the Black Panther Kitty, and I'll be your host for this episode. Like at the end of last episode, in this episode I'm redubbing because the microphone went off and the thing that happened last episode was that we were trying to find the coal cave where we are trying to get the second to last part of the pilgrimage done and we were still failing to find said cave. We are here at the place is called Subdun. And are kind of, yeah... We were fighting a lot with Slaughterfish. It's kind of a bit embarrassing for a cat to, you know, be attacked by fish. And, um... Not that strong against them, but, um... We are still a weak... A weak magic user. Level 2 and there is again an attack. At least this retains our unarmored skill so we don't take that much damage. Oh, three of them, oh my god. No, no, pass 90, go away there. Three of them is too hard. The Panther of the Past. Who was actually doing this? It's a few days later since I recorded this. I don't actually know everything. By heart that will happen, so it might be that I'm actually surprised by what happens on the street itself. But yeah, as you can see, it's basically it's a pain in the butt to... Oh, no magic up. Yeah, a pain in the butt to actually damage them with my dagger. There we go. Oh, oh, nice. I did attack... I did attack multi slaughterfish at once. Now that's neat. Oh, that one still lives. Um, yeah. Die. Uh, one more. It doesn't work. It just... Okay, the, the spell effect doesn't go underwater, so... Basically the spell is hindered by the water. Okay, so why, why can I hit the fish anyhow? Ah, doesn't matter. It works, so I'm going to use it. Easiest way of feeling actually is resting. Of course, that doesn't train us any magic skills. This is why I normally use the restoration spells. Now let's harvest some max sponge. Yeah, that icky sound. It's like we're diving into there and pulling all of that out. Fur icky wet with muck. Harvest everything. Don't go through the water. No, no. no. There must be a way around this, because if we go through the water, it means that we're... Let me disable this buzzing from my cell phone. If we go through the water, we can be attacked by the slaughterfish again, and we don't want that. Yep, there is a way around. Okay, let's head that way. To be honest, it's a bit easier to, to just talk when you're not playing at the same time, because you don't have to be concentrated on the game while you're talking. Um, although I don't know that much if I'm being more talkative right now, or if I'm being more like the same amount of talkativeness. Okay, so this is basically where we're trying to go. So uh, this is somewhere near this weird formation that we're now passing on the left hand side and maybe there is something to the left okay yeah over time we will get way faster but for now I'm I think it's training training is expensive you can abuse some glitches, for example the running thing, you press the always run button, run against the wall and, and we'll train up your skills and um, oh there, there is a cave entrance awesome, that must be it let's see yes, it is the coal cave so this means this is where our pilgrimage leads us let's enter it and oh there's the shrine already nice Let's see the donation, and we received a, ple a blessing. The grace of valor, thank you for your valor, Lord Vivek. I shall not quail nor turn away, but face my enemies and my fear. And we did get some armor skill fortifications, of course, also for the unarmored skill. 
So it also affects us. Perfect. Dropping a quick save because I'm curious what's inside this cave. The book, the pilgrimage book, mentioned that um, weak characters should not try to do as Vivek did and try to, to, to defeat the octopus people that dwell here. Another fish attacking us. I hate these. Come on, come on here so I can actually spark you. There we go. Thank you very much. And there you go. Your structured skill increase. Perfect. So let's head on. Let's see where this is leading. Okay, these. Big there. This is. I can't. Yeah, I can't use. This is the last, the last bit of convincing that I needed. I can't use the spell in the water, and of course not the octopus man is attacking me. And okay, so much for last part of convincing. It simply doesn't work. They are too far on the water. Yeah, let's try to attack him. Yeah. It, just with the as with the slaughterfish, we are not doing any damage, so let's just run away, like the cowards that we are. And let's head out of here. Also, I'm apologizing for the bad quality. I'm going to check out better quality settings for my next recording. This is was a new setup because I was streaming and recording at the same time and I was streaming a different picture than I was recording. And so I had different settings. I'm going to adjust stuff and simply just stream what I'm recording at the same time. So this will mean that there will be no extra stuff in the stream, but on the other hand, this does not bother you, especially since this episode will come out a little long after I, I record this. Since I'm recording way in advance, where do I need to go? I'm going to go to Gnesis and then teleport to Bomora, I think, and from there I walk up. Because my as my golden rule goes, I only teleport to places that I've actually walked to once. So let's let's cross the river where the pantsless man is, and then head to the Silstrider. Hello, Mr. Pantsless Man. I'm going to find your pants somewhere. You're okay in the water, aren't you? Okay, let's let's head over. And there is the temple and the Silstrider of Kinesis. And there we go. Let's head towards the Silt Strider. Um, wait a Quickly, second. Quickly, Outlander. I haven't much time. Yeah, that was wrong. So this is where we want to go. As I already said, we're going to walk from Belmora and then, then along this lava trench here. Which name I already have forgotten. As it goes with me and names. Well, let's just let's just get down there. Or not. <laughs> That's what happens if you re have to read up something you don't remember exactly. I didn't know if I jumped down or walked around. I Where would you like to go? I want to travel to Sedanin, please, because I can't directly travel to Balmora. But I know that I can from Sedanin. Thank you very much. Sedanin is very far away, so it takes a while to load. Where would you like to go? I want to go to Balmora, please. Why are you running away? Hey, Se Oh, okay. Wrong person, sorry. I want to go to Balmora, please. Well, Mora, and I'm nearly out of gold. I, I really have to sell all that alchemy stuff. I think I'm going to. I hope that I'm saying the right thing. I think I'm going to head into the Mages Guild and sell that stuff and get some money before I head to the Ghost Gate.
Yep, the Mage skill. I'm sorry for the low frame rate. I don't actually know why Balmora has such a low frame rate now. I didn't have that in the past. Can you train me somehow? No, I need training in the magic stuff. Do you offer some you know, drinks? No, but I can sell that. And do you take alchemy stuff? No. No, not even in these. Okay, let's... What? She doesn't even take it with one. Really? Oh my god. Like one piece of gold what more than she offered about? me. And she refused. What a not nice person. I know why yes, Ajira you... is not liking her. Want? Speaking of which... Ajira, friend! Warm welcome. Greeted friend. Welcome. Yeah, warm greetings to you too. I have something and I need a little bit of money for it. Can you help me out by just taking this load off of me? Come on, click the barter button already. Aha. There we go. So, I was wondering if you were interested in these items. Because I think I'm going to learn alchemy at a later date. Ah, there we go. And can you please give me a little, little bit more for a uh, thank you? You're such a good friend, Ajira. It's very, very nice. Every time I see you. Hmm. Can you ask your question quickly? I must be going. Oh, I'm not talking to you. I was talking with my very best friend here. Let's see if we can train some. Yeah, we can train some. Oh, oh, I can't train destruction anymore because my the governing attribute is too low. Okay, let's let's have a look what the governing attribute is for destruction. It is willpower. So I need to train my willpower first. Next level up, willpower. Okay. Well, anyhow, we have a 87% chance for a spark to succeed, which is not that bad, I think. Yes, Khajiit? What do you want? I want to create some spells, because I want a better... Of course, touch doesn't work. No, no, I'm, I want to do this remotely. Same distance than before, but I want it stronger than before. Let's say... Let's try making it longer. Like this is the duration in seconds for which they take the amount of damage. Okay, so let's go back to one second. The, the, these sliders are very, very, very finicky. Okay, so the cost and chances are decreasing very, very fast with things like duration. So let's try out here. 20 to 50 means I still have a 57% chance of succeeding. Oh, if I go with only one second. It, uh, um, uh, it's a hard decision. Come on, I want to just one. Yeah, let's do this. This means 76% spell chance for 20 magicka. And we want to give it a name. And of course, it is the Spark 2. So the next stronger version would be Spark 3. And do we want to make another spell? I'm thinking, yes. Let's see what else interesting effects do we have. None. Okay. Mm, do we have new spells for me? Oh, but paralysis. Paralysis on touch. Well, uh, maybe I can make something out of that. I mean, I don't like touch spells because I need to go up to someone, but I could use that effect in spell making, can't I? So, flea bite, damage intelligence, uh, burden, bound stuff. Uh, it's hard to decide because you only have 
I only have 300 gold, so I'm going to take the paralysis, I think. No, I'm not. I was pretty sure I took the paralysis. Mm. Oh. Yeah. Okay. I, I think I was checking if I already had a per as something with a paralysis effect. But um, I would have seen it here, like, right? So, on target, 5 meters, because that's a nice area. And for how long do I want enemies to be paralyzed? Well, how about 10 seconds? 10, I say, not 9. Not 29, 10! Come on, 10. Yes, that's it. Spell chance 50%. Well, we learn. Okay. And we call it... Hmm. No, I'm not satisfied with that. Let's remove that effect and start over. Paralysis, five meters for about five seconds. Yeah, better chance. And five seconds should be enough. Remote paralyze. And I'm remembering that I've got an American keyword layouts in that game which means Y and Z are swapped for me, because the German keyword layout has Y and Z switched places. Okay. And of course, I'm used to 10 finger type, or blindly type, as you say, with the German keyboard. So Spark 2 has a nice... Yeah, let's, let's switch them in the quick menu, Spark 2. And let's put... Uh, let's rearrange all of that. Let's put the like the healing on the right hand side of the number area, the paralysis there, and then we have the attack spells. Let's let's take a look. So this is our new spark spell. Okay, I don't want to accidentally spark someone in here. It would be kind of kind of bad if we attack someone from the guild and get expelled. Again, this low FPS. I, I can't understand why. So, restoration is willpower and I need to learn this. Can I actually go and learn restoration? Let's see. Let's head downstairs and find maybe Ajira is the restoration trainer? Or they... Training. Yes, they are, but um, too expensive. I'm sorry for interrupting you. Let's just head away before they get angry. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. We clearly have you to have my learn a lot about, get a lot of money, and learn a lot about spells. Oh, feather could be interesting, especially if you want to make money, because I'm thinking of going someplace and looting it. And if I use the feather spell and loads of um, well, either like resting and uh, to restore the magicka, I can, for example, loot out one of these dwarven ruins that we have passed a few times. Well, let's head to our good friend Ravir. Well, good friend, hello Ravir, friend. Yeah, friend, he's not that friendly with us, only 53%. But um, let's sell him the weapons that we don't need. I mean, really, this is what just, do you need? wait. I already have everything I need, thank you. But it's always nice to see a fellow Khajiit here in Fradenfell. Or on Morrowind, that is. In Morrowind, on Vardenfell, that's that's correct. In Morrowind, that's the province. On Vardenfell, that's the island. Okay, so let's head out. See, I, the moment I cross Belmora's city borders, the FPS goes up again. Well, not up to 30 or something, but it is decent enough. Decent enough. And there in the background, that's the Dwarf Druin that I'm thinking of looting. It's actually something that I usually did in all the times that I played the game. And you run 
in and out loads and loads of times because there's lots to loot and the dwarven stuff is heavy. So I'm pondering if I should do this on camera or off camera. I might actually do most of it on camera and then skip the running back and forth. So whenever I run back and forth, I either, either speed it up or just, you know, just uh, skip ahead. Well, we'll see. Anyhow, we are going to pass the fort. Moth, I think it was. And follow the thing leading up to the volcano oh yeah sorry no but nobody <laughs> I already know that it's a volcano let's try the paralysis why didn't it work oh yeah we, we still have the regular paralysis selected he selected the wrong paralysis spell for the still failed okay it's still Paralysis is selected. Ah, there we go. Okay, and Ooh, nice. And they are paralyzed. And that's it. Single cast. And a spark. Ooh, that one. That new spark is strong. Nice. That's very nice. So for the Kwama foragers, I don't need the paralysis anymore. But it could sure come in handy. And I'm being attacked again. So these are these damned cliff racers that glitch around in the surrounding area all the time. And there we go. The new spell is not strong enough to one hit a cliff racer, sadly. But we can always improve simply by creating a new one when our destruction skill is higher. So this would be the bridge we cross. Oh, again, we're being attacked. This would be the bridge we cross when we head to this Dwarven Ruin and when we're looting it and I can't see wh whom is attacking us. So let's just head on. Either they will forget us or we will notice the no, no. Sometimes there is a cliff racer um, glitched into the bridge. But doesn't seem like it. No, can't see any enemy. But there's a Nick sound up there. Let's see if we can actually hit them from far away and how much damage we do, shall we? Hmm. There we go. Uh, I think that was a one hit, right? Yeah, it looked like one hit. And we got tasty hound meat. Oh. Nice look, right there. I guess that's the one that uh, locked onto us before we passed the bridge. Okay, there we go. Yep, the new. Spells are very good. We can't rest. Damn it. I don't want to use too many potions. There we go. Two steps later, the fighting music is over. We can rest. And there is no sound. But they're easily dealt with now. Sandstorm. I hate the sandstorm. Still, we're going to sleep the storm away. Ooh, luckily this was a one hit. This little guy could have paralyzed us. It's his usual attack. Well, anywho. Mm, that's the way we need to go. Okay. Hmm. I hope it sounded like my tummy was rumbling. Because I'm, I'm redubbing this and being very hungry just right after working. Let's say, let's hope that it's my tummy and not the tummy of some dragon or something. Oh, no, wrong game. We're not yet in Skyrim. There are no dragons here. It's way too early for that. But we can, yay, use some more of our nice new spells. There we go. And 
past these Daedric Ruins and head over towards the fenced-in area with the lighted creatures or corpus creatures. I always need to forget. Kill the rat on the way. One hit the rat. Not enough magicka. Damn it. We're burning through these potions as if they were juice. Or iced tea, because that's what I'm currently drinking. And I'm not even one hitting them. And Tyrant cast them. I should learn to aim. Let's get the spoils, which there are none. Okay, now this is. This could be dangerous. I don't want to be hit by lightning. That's mm, oh, sad. We're being attacked again, and there is no magicka. Ah, no one left. And one, two, there we go. And he's the way he's he's floating down, not moving, when he's dead. Well, that's the that's the game until healed. There we go. I think I'm going to lay low on the potions for now. Thus, I'm dropping a quick save and heading down the path. Die. Huh, I should learn to aim. A little bit higher than the crosshair shows. Oh, you're not locked onto me, okay. Oh, it's so much fun to use that spell though. Ah, not enough magic, huh? Well, there goes the last potion. Because I couldn't have rested without winning that fight, for, fight first. Okay. Let's head on. Onwards to the ghost fa oh, Another attack. Where is he? It's, bet it's another Peat Racer. Yes, it is another. That's the thing with the Peat Racer. You look around everywhere and then suddenly they're just next to you. Three of them and... Uh, that. Spamming them with useless... Now you know why in the next game they change the mechanics so that when you, like in a first person shooter, when you hit the enemy actually with your weapon, it automatically counts as a hit. Let's head on and hope that whatever made that sound doesn't see us. So I can't train the destruction skill higher with a trainer, but I can train it by using it. That's nice to know. Whoa, that's five feet. That's awesome. That's far away. Ah, damn it. So I can actually attack enemies which are very, very far away. And I only have one attack of these before I need to resort to the dagger. I definitely need more magicka and a stronger spell. Let's get the loot and head on. First of all, recharge the magicka and head on. But I'm really satisfied with the new spell, to be honest. No, we don't need to kill that one. We don't meet those creatures that we hear. 
but I guess it's it's from the atmospheric sound effect plugin which means it's just more sound effects but nothing that actually makes them just like the falling rocks and boulders that you hear in the background oh two rats there we go and number two we should let's first loot that one and then attack number two this far ahead this mountain range is this already ghost fence I think so yes it looks like we have reached the ghost fence so now we only have to find the ghost gate kill that farmer forager on our way oh I can't rest I need to do another fight or just step back a little Oh yeah, there it is. This building, this is the so-called ghost gate, which is the gate through the ghost fence. And there we go. Another attack. Another, yeah, and, and he's glitched into the tree. Of course he is. Just die already. Okay, so, oh, there are people there. I hope that they are not aggro. I want to check. Let's see who they are. Uh, hello? Um, are you nice? Uh, I am being attacked from the I music. will listen, Outlander, but make it quick. Uh, not by then. Okay, your first training. Uh, but nothing for us. Long blade. Athletics. Well, athletics could be something, but... Mm, so we are being attacked by this... Lift Racer, of course, this Lift Racer. More magic, yeah. Oh, come on. Ah, there we go. And now let's head inside the ghost gate. Uh, of course, resting here is illegal. This is like a kind of town slash city. Actually, it is, I think, actually, uh, officially it is a temple. Let's... Did I, did I read? No, I think I forgot to read. So this is the famous ghost gate, and I think... Let's open the door, head inside. I think I forgot to read the text to you, did I? This doesn't close the door. I'm not going to go through here, to be honest. I'm going to end this episode first. And coming up with the next episode, you will see me step through the ghost gate. Yes, please close again so I can open it at the beginning of the next episode. I can you can see me stepping through the ghost gate and uh, finishing the pilgrimage. Bye-bye.